Hi, Bob here with JD Square. Let's talk about water injection. This is our rotary cutter right here, and it is equipped with our optional water injection system. But first of all, what is water injection and why do you need it or may want it? First of all, the problem comes in that we're rotating our workpiece. Now, all cutting tables, and I mean, I'm talking about the tables that have your cutting feed rates, your uh, pierce heights, times, all this stuff. Those are the cutting tables. They are all calculated and um, built using room temperature metal. Well, when we start rotating the workpiece, we have a unique problem. And the problem is, is we're heating the metal before we get to it. So when we shoot the plasma through the top right here, uh, obviously we're heating the other side. When she rotates 180 degrees, we are now cutting through that heated zone. The problem is, all cutting tables are considered using room temperature metal. We are no longer cutting room temperature metal. Therefore, we're going to end up with more slag um, and basically a degraded cut quality overall. Now, one way to help minimize that, especially if you're cutting aluminum, is to inject a cooling liquid such as water through the tubing to try to help minimize that. Now, I should point out right away that injecting water through a tube or whatever is really not going to solve the smoke problem. It, it'll, it'll help knock it down a little bit, but the main idea is to cool the workpiece, not to um, reduce smoke and all. So anyway, that's why you would want to use water injection. Now, let's talk about our standard rotary cutter machine without our water injection system on it. And um, it's what you got basically right here. All of our machines come with water trays the entire length of the cutting area. So you do not, you, know, you do not have to purchase our injection system. You could roll your own if you want. We put a lot of thought in our system, but you could roll your own. Now, all of our trays have inch and a half pipe outlets, and basically they connect to inch and a half PVC pipe, and then we use rubber connectors or whatever to connect it to route it back to our tank. The other thing all of our machines come with are the sides. We want the sides high to try to um, contain some of this splash and debris and all, so they are, they're built pretty high. A problem with that is, is if you're dealing with heavy metal and you're going to load it up, these things are going to get in the way. So what we've got is a system where these things are removable and you literally hang them right here on the sides of the machine and now you can load your material when you're done, put back the sides and start your cutting. One thing I should mention, I do not have the splash guard mounted to the torch right here. <clears throat> when you see the cutting videos, you'll see the splash guard in place, but for this video, I don't have it on the machine. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead now and talk about how we developed a water injection system that pretty much works for just about every um, circumstance. Let's first go ahead and put back the side tray right here. Now, if you notice, we have stainless steel deflectors on the end, trays up here to help route the water back into the main tray. All right, our injection system has a few features. First of all, we use a stainless steel reservoir tank right there. It's got a trapment area inside it to handle the pump, 12 inches square. So you could buy any kind of pump you want. We supply a pump from the get-go. This is one that we literally purchased from Home Depot. I think it's 120 bucks. We outfit a three-quarter inch outlet on it and it'll sit down into that entrapment area in the tank and it'll move the water. These are not covered, these are not warrantable items. We consider them consumables, they hardly ever wear out, but they're so cheap, they're so easy to get. Home Depot's your solution right there, or Lowe's. Anyway, um, so we've got a tank down here and we've got the liquid coming out of it. How do we get it into the tube? Well, that's where this thing comes in right here. On our housings back here, we have a sleeve that we slide this in and lock down and we will slide it in and the end of the tubing will enter in, inside your tubing right here, therefore letting your, the, the water flow down that away. And that worked pretty good until we got to small tubing. We use three quarter inch vinyl tubing because we want a maximum amount of volume. We don't really want velocity, we want volume so we want a larger tube size. Well the problem with that is, is that how do you then fit that up to a piece of three quarter inch tubing if that's what you happen to be cutting. Now the solution turns out to be, we just flip this around and then on the other end, we insert another piece of vinyl tubing that we have an adapter in it 
that brings it down to the ID of the tubing that we're cutting. So this particular piece will work with small tubing as well as large tubing right there. Um, and that's how we handle that right there. Now, liquid, you're going to see, we're not cutting in this video, um, but when we do cut, you're going to see us cutting with a green liquid. And what that is, is we have added a rust preventive solution to the water. And that's very advantageous because a lot of these machines, like your chuck right here, your material, of course, the transfer balls, these are not plated items. They will rust. So a, a rust preventive solution in your water greatly helps the machine out right there. Now, if you notice, we're using a green liquid, and it's produced by a company called Pico, P-I-C-O. And we really like this stuff, but it's fairly expensive liquid. You're not going to want to be flushing this stuff down the drain. I don't even think you can do it legally anyway, but you're not going to want to do that. So that's why we engineered our water injection system to be completely enclosed. So we'll pump the water up. It'll go through the tubing drain back down, end up back in the reservoir, and every once in a while you're going to add water. The Pico or Pico solution is not going to evaporate. Your water is going to evaporate, so typically you don't add much more of that uh, relatively expensive rust preventive. You're just adding water to the system. Anyway, that's really all there is to water injection. I just thought I'd do a short little video, give you an idea of what's going on with that. Anyway, if we could answer any more questions, um, just email us or give us a call. And once again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.